a special COVID-19 hazard and inducement allowance of 50% of consolidated basic salary will be paid to all health workers in Nigeria teaching hospitals, federal medical centers, FMCs, and designated COVID-19 centers for the first three months. In the first instance, the Minister of State for Health, Olurum B. Mamora disclosed this at the daily presidential task force briefing on COVID-19 on Monday. He said the federal government agreed to shelve the payment of the current 5,000 hazard allowance, which have been in existence since 1991. He said a memorandum of understanding MOU has been signed with health professional associations and unions as regards this. To discuss further, we have the national president of NMA, Francis Fadiyile. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure being here. Did this development come as a surprise to you? Well, I think we have to appreciate the federal government for being able to take uh, the bold step of ensuring that uh, the proper inducement are given to its workforce during this time of COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, as Everybody has seen all over the country that the hazard allowance uh, has been abysmally small, uh, the 5,000, and the government also realized that it's not good enough as incentive for its workforce. And that is what brought up uh, the discussion. And uh, they have married it with the inducement so that uh, the workforce of uh, all the staff in the hospitals and the uh, uh, federal medical centers and other non-public hospitals uh, that is having the uh, under the uh, federal government are uh, well taken care of. I think it's a great uh, uh, action in the right direction, and that the uh, medical and health workers will be happy uh, with the uh, decisions uh, of the government so far. Okay, if, if we add that to the 5,000 earlier announced for frontline health workers, even though it has been uh, phased out now, um, what do you expect the reaction and the reception to be among uh, staffers? Sincerely, if you look at it and you compare it with uh, uh, that 5,000, the 5,000 is a very small percentage uh, compared to what uh, it is expected. Uh, what we have just signed uh, the MOU with. Uh, it is a very large uh, uh, jump from the 5,000, and it's good enough for us to have uh, all the frontline workers uh, to be in a good spirit to face this uh, current situation. So that is uh, uh, what we have seen, and I think is great uh, as it is. Um, do you see these measures being replicated when it comes to the condition of service of um, uh, doctors and medical workers who in some places are complaining that they don't have adequate PPEs and the working condition is not as favorable as it should be? Uh, one of the items that uh, we signed the MOU is for the government is, uh, is when we stress to the government that the PPEs need to be sent to all hospital outlets all over the country. Uh, initially, they have this view that uh, the PPE should be uh, given majorly to the isolation and treatment centers. Uh, but later, we let them know that all the cases in which we have had uh, health workers contracting the disease are from outside the isolation and treatment centers. And that is what made the redefinition of frontline workers to be every health worker wherever you are working, because any patient is a potential COVID-19 patient. So the government had promised that the redistribution of the PPE will go to all health uh, outlets all over the country. We are hoping by today uh, to assess uh, the level of uh, compliance of the distribution of PPEs to all the uh, health uh, outlets that we have. Uh, the, the, the only areas that we have not been able to get government committed is to get PPE for our private practitioners, either 
uh, medical private practitioners, dental private practitioners, as well as other uh, health uh, professionals, private practitioners, because they too are exposed by seeing patients coming to their hospices. All right, doctor, thank you very much for your time. We'll definitely get back to you to check in on the level of compliance a little later. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure.